Search started about three hours ago at Cocoa Beach, and that is where News Six's James Barbero joins us now live with the latest. James. And still very sad, Matt and Ginger, that we do not have a good update to bring you. There is no sign of this man still at this hour. Three hours later, the man from Kissimmee, 29 years old, his family, all of them coming out for a beach day today. Children, his mother is here. They're back there in the distance. They were at First Street North which is the first beach access north of the heart of downtown in Cocoa Beach, Minutemen Causeway and Coconuts on the beach. So at 2.15 this afternoon, the story from police is that they were inside the water, they were in the water, a lot of family members actually, but this man, he was actually more secluded and by himself and that's when he got caught in the rip current and no one was able to grab him and he disappeared from the surface, the story from the mother who was on the shore. Since then, you had a sheriff's helicopter in the air, you had jet skis, the Coast Guard, Brevard County Sheriff's Office, Cocoa Beach Police and Fire all here with a very, very active scene. But as we get longer into the search, the search is being scaled down, we're watching visibly. There's maybe one jet ski on the water right now. And we're told by a local woman here in Cocoa Beach who has been trying to console this family during this time that they are together back there praying, they have their Bibles, just very tragic development. We do not have an update from police if or when they may suspend this search. We are hearing from some others that they expect the search to continue until at least dark and then definitely pick up again tomorrow morning if they haven't found anything around low tide. That's all we have from right now. We wish we could bring you better news, but we will keep you updated, Matt and Ginger, on News 6 and, of course, on ClickOrlando.com. Live in Cocoa Beach, I'm James Sparvero getting results News 6. Just very unfortunate. James, thank you.